You're welcome to Mission. And in Mission tonight, residents at Jato Chawe and four other adjoining communities have been empowered to demand accountability from authorities and develop the zeal to own community-based projects. Stanley Niblo reports residents were also schooled on some laws of the land under the European Union-funded program dubbed Rule of Law and Accountability Program. The European Union Ghana Anti-Corruption Agenda Christian Rule of Law and Accountability Program was launched in Accra in June 2016. The 20 million euro five-year program aims at supporting the National Anti-Corruption Action Plan NACAP of Ghana. The program also intends to build the capacity of civic education providers such as the National Commission on Civic Education NCCE, SHRAJ, CSOs and the media to conduct campaigns, advocate and lobby for increased accountability and a reduction in corruption. Law enforcement agencies are also beneficiaries of the program. At a town hall meeting at Jato Chawe, a farming community in the Krachi Echimuhuru district in the Oti region, for instance, residents were empowered to play critical roles in governance. The meeting was organized by the Krachi Echimuhuru district NCCE, and people in attendance included members from the district assembly, district police commander, the district health and finance officers. The law states that if anyone had sex with a girl below age 16 should be arrested and charged with defilement if the person is reported to the police. Key among dominant discussion include the disbursement of the 3% disability common fund and provision of social amenities. Norbert Eklu Senyo is the district social welfare officer. In 2017, we did a mass registration where we want to have all persons with disability on our database. Once we have that, we are able to know how to plan. Because the money that we receive is supposed to come per a quarter. And you know, as they say, the common fund, common fund, but sometimes it's not that frequent. Prioritization of community development projects also came up strongly. Our work is just to um, sensitize the people what needs to be done so that when they understand what needs to be done, they will take steps to get those problems resolved. Krachin Echimuhuru Acting District Director for NCCE, Abbas Yusif, wants communities to initiate their own developmental projects and own them. We are trying to let them understand what goes into the planning of a project, what goes to the implementation, what goes into the execution, and then what goes into monitoring, so that if they are looking for a, a, a borehole, the community should talk. Then when they talk and they realize that, oh, when we ourselves we contribute some money, we can get our problem resolved. So. The interactive engagement also provided a platform for the people to voice the problems in the adjoining communities. A five-member watchdog committee was formed to protect social amenities provided by the state and other non-governmental organizations. And that's all for Mission this evening. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, the UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.